Hey guys, it's Bastion time! Welcome to This Week in Nintendo News, I'm your host Bastion, let's get to those top stories. So our first story is about the Wii U controller. Now, you might remember from last year's E3, it had some circle pads, just like the 3DS, uh, uh, two, one on each side on it, and um, we got a release of, uh, it was just a rumor for a while, of what was the redesign for it. Um, what we'll be seeing at this coming E3, and what it shows is that the circle pads uh, have been completely replaced by actual analog sticks. Um, so that's going to make a lot of people happy. I personally didn't have a problem whatsoever with the circle pads. I think they work really well, but I guess maybe a lot of people really needed those analog sticks, so, you know, that's good. Um, they also moved some things around, shifted uh, some... Uh, it looks like the directional, not the directional pad, but the A, B, X, Y um, have been sort of moved to the side, kind of out of the way, and just some buttons down below have been shifted over and so on. Um, so, uh, so again, this was just, we thought, just a rumor. Um, you know, it would be pretty hard to fake, but... Uh, it was, it was just being considered a rumor up until we suddenly heard that, uh, well, we knew where this was coming from. It was from TT Games, and uh, it was an employee from that uh, game design studio leaked this image on their Twitter. Um, not very bright of them because now they're fired. <laughs> so that's the new development in this story is that that particular employee has been fired, and in fact, uh, it looks like TT Games may be suing them uh, because you have to sign non-disclosure agreements when you have positions at these things because Nintendo doesn't want the design getting revealed before they choose to reveal it. Um, so, and this employee, of course, knew that, and so why they chose to release this on their Twitter, I don't know, but um, the news story about this is they've been fired and they're probably going to be sued by their former employer. So not so fun for them, but uh, anyway, awesome, interesting changes in the controller design. Speaking of the Wii U, we have a rumor stating that the uh, operating system for the Wii U is, uh, according to one developer, unlike anything we've seen on any console up to this date. Um, they're basically implying that it's kind of going for the iPhone or Android structure of, of being kind of really app-centric but it apparently is a very robust operating system and will actually be requiring uh, quite a bit of um, memory. So uh, it'll be interesting to see what that operating system is going to be like. I mean, I thought the Wii's operating system was pretty good, but apparently the Wii U's operating system completely unlike anything we've seen so far. And one more Wii U rumor. Um, this is that I guess they uh, a developer says that at least two tablets can be used for the system. Um, and not only that, but at the same time as two tablets being used for the Wii U, you can also use four Wii Motion Plus uh, remotes. So um, so up to six games, six, six player games, that would be pretty interesting. Um, and this is, I mean, I feel like this is kind of obvious. Everybody kept harping on the fact that they felt like there was only you could only use one of these uh, tablet-style controllers, but that just doesn't make any sense. Of course, Nintendo's not going to restrict you to just one. So, um, so great to hear that at least two. Uh, you can use at a time, and not only at least two of those, but then also four Wii Motion Plus controllers at the same time as those two. That's pretty awesome. But again, it's just a rumor. Of course, we'll have to wait until this E3, coming up super shortly, uh, to be sure. Now let's uh, move back a generation to the Wii, and um, our new story is that the, there's going to be a Wii price drop to only $99. Um, I can't imagine that there are too many people out there who want a Wii and yet don't have one, um, but if somehow you're one of those people, um, you know, maybe you've moved away to college 
and uh, you don't have access to your family's Wii, and you still haven't played Skyward Sword for some reason, uh, well, now you can pick up a really cheap $99 Wii. Uh, so that's pretty cool. And of course, they're doing this in anticipation for the Wii U being released, but still, it's a, it's a pretty nice price drop. And then our final story is about a game. This is not a game being made by Nintendo specifically, but it is for the 3DS, and I am just talking about this because I have been wanting to play this game since it was first announced. It's called Bravery Default Flying Fairy. Now, if it were up to me, I would change so many things about that name, but it's not. And it's a Square Enix game, and what's really interesting about it is uh, this particular news story, which says that they've been releasing several demos over there in Japan, and they've been using people's reaction to those demos, some critiques and you know suggested changes and so on, to inform what the final game is going to be like. They've already changed things like increasing the walking speed 20%, because people felt like maybe their character was walking kind of slow and, and things like that. So they've been tweaking all sorts of little tiny things to really appease uh, the people who are going to end up playing this game. So that's really awesome that they're, they're actually taking the fan feedback into consideration um, and kind of using the demos as uh, almost like beta testing to kind of see what people feel about them and then change the things for the final game. The reason why I'm really, really excited about this game is because now maybe you've played, um, it was called Final Fantasy IV Warriors of Light on the DS. That was a really awesome game. This is being made by the same exact team. Um, and even though it doesn't have the Final Fantasy name in it, it is so obviously a Final Fantasy game. I don't understand why it doesn't have the name in it. Uh, the battle structure is deliberately uh, copied from Final Fantasy V, of all things. I mean, the job system is deliberately copied from Final Fantasy V. It's just... I think it's obvious this is actually meant to be a Final Fantasy game, but for whatever reason, they don't have the Final Fantasy name in the title. Whatever, it still looks extremely good, and I cannot wait to get my hands on it. So that's it for This Week in Nintendo News. I'll see you guys next week. Bye!